All right, guys. So today we are going to address the issue of brakes on this particular bike. The braking power is just not there for this bike, uh, mainly because of the weight. I pretty much texted my, my guy and he's a authorized dealer for Magura brakes. And I was like, hey, the MT5s are just not enough for, for this particular bike. Should I consider MT5 e-stop, which is the uh, designated um, e-bike Magura brake? And I found out surprisingly, MT5 e-stop actually has less bite uh, compared to the regular MT5s, which I have. Um, my MT5s are essentially regular MT5s with the HC uh, lever, one finger lever. MT5 e-stop actually has less bite. It has a two finger lever and also um, sport pads, which has less bite than the performance uh, pads that the regular MT5s come with. So it got, I got super confused as to why the e-bike brakes have less bite. His explanation was because of the weight on the e-bike, you actually don't want it to bite too hard because uh, the weight, when your wheels lock up, you can uh, lose control even easier and you can spin out, you can overrun, overshoot a turn way easier when you start to lose traction in either tire. So how Magura combat that is by developing a specialized rotor for, for the e-bikes, MDRP rotors. And you can see these are the floating uh, rotors similar to uh, what I currently have and was planning on upgrading to the 220 in the front. So these are the Hope rotors. Um, these are floating, so you can see a little space in between and that allows for the rotor expansion when they get super hot. And so Magura came out with these rotors. I got bit in my butt because I went with form over function. The reason being, these are 2.0 millimeters in thickness. The Hope is only 1.8. The Magura rotors, the minimum thickness is 1.8. So essentially I've been running on min minimal uh, rotor thickness settings with my Hope um, rotors. So once I slap these on, 220 in the front, two or three in the rear, well, I should have zero issues with braking whatsoever. In, in fact, he said I, I may have too much bite if I, if I um, bite down too, too hard uh, because these are one finger lever and the pads are uh, performance. So in terms of the uh, Magura brake pad uh, biting force, it goes from race, performance, um, sport, and then comfort. And so again, the MT5 e-stop comes with sport, and then the regular MT5 comes with performance. And so, uh, yeah, so our goal is today is to slap these on. I also are going to spend the next couple of days working on my uh, uh, fork. I'm planning to uh, increase the travel to 160, uh, which is the same as my uh, um, DVO up there. So, all right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove both wheels. Da -da -da. Here you go. All right, here you go. I think it's this side. There you go. Oops. All right. All right, so these bolts are T25. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen it. Okay. One. All right, and we're gonna save this because we're gonna transfer this magnet. Let's uh, open our uh, 203. The last two will have the uh, magnet piece. Screw this in, but so don't over tighten it. And then these bolts are usually like five Newton meters. All right, and the big boy, 220. The next thing we need to do is change the um, post mounts. For the rear, we will use the 180 to 203. And then for the front, it will be 80 to 220. So let's put this in. Still at me, uh, I didn't realize this, even though this says 203, this is actually 160 to 203 post mount, um, which I got for a previous fork but I happen to have a Shimano one uh, that is 180 to 203. So this one will work, except uh, my bolt is too long. So I'm waiting for new bolts. Put this on. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. There you go. Should be fine. I think that's pretty good. 